I'd like to call to order the June 12th meeting of the Shelby Township Planning Commission. Uh, Madam Secretary, would you call the roll, please? Yes, Mr. Dallow? Here. Ms. DeSico? Here. Mr. Wozniak? Here. Mr. Appone? Here. Mr. Turner? Here. Secretary Moore is absent, and Chairman Moffitt, we have a quorum. Great, thank you. <clears throat> uh, first item is approve the agenda. If there are no additions or corrections. So move. Support. Right. Moved by Turner, support by DeSico. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item is uh, approval of the minutes from the May 22nd meeting. So moved. Support. Any comments, questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, this evening we have five site plans uh, that we'll be uh, entertaining. Uh, the first one, site plan number 17-24, Fernando Casasanta, Northwood Investments. Uh, is the uh, applicant here? Okay, if you could come up. Uh, name and address and uh, what you're requesting of this body this evening. Why don't you speak into the microphone, please? Fernando Casasanta, 57841 Brookfield Way, Washington Township. Okay. My name is Bill Thompson from Laner Associates. I'm uh, working with Mr. Casasanta on this site plan. Okay. I'll just briefly describe uh, what you're requesting this evening. Okay, this property is located on the northwest corner of West Star Drive and, and uh, Shaner. Um, it's one of the last lots in the West Star subdivision that was developed 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, it's zoned industrial. Mr. Casasana plans on putting in a industrial building uh, with several users. You can see on the uh, on the display board there. It's broken up into eight units. They can be combined, but maximum of eight units. Uh, there's sanitary sewer, water, and storm sewer available to suit this, to fit the site to serve the site uh, access will be off West Star Drive uh, Mr. Wynn or, or I think Julie did this for Julie you need a microphone <laughs> Okay, as Mr. Thompson indicated, this is a 25,470 foot square foot industrial building. Um, it sits on a 1.76 acre parcel at the northwest corner of Shaner and West Star Industrial. Um, the building um, meets all the zoning ordinance requirements. Um, I had a few minor comments um, indicate the surface area and specifications, and I believe the engineer had that comment as well. Um, Indicate no outdoor storage permitted on the site. Uh, indicate li lighting fixtures and details. And um, these are all minor comments. Um, building department requires a seven foot wide sidewalk. Um, fire department also had some comments in public works, but all are minor in scope. And um, this is typical industrial building of the site. Great. Thank you. Uh, to the board, any questions for the petitioner? Sure. Mr. Dallow. To uh, Mr. Mr. One, is the building in the light industrial? Can they have a retail in the front of any kind, and and the storage in the back? Is that allowable? And they are allowed um, in in light manufacturing. They are allowed some retail uses. So, for example, if a restaurant was interested, they could put a restaurant in there. Uh, it's really a multi-tenant industrial building. I think you'd find mostly industrial tenants. But since it has on Shaner access, <clears throat> they could put some some retail uses there as well. It is allowed in the LM district. It's. Uh, I mean, the the building is beautiful. It's a it beautiful is. building, beautiful setup. It just uh, the name of light industrial for such a building. It's kind of put the building down, in my opinion. And I wish it was totally commercial where. Uh, I don't know how the mix of restaurant and light industrial are going to work together. I wish it was just either or. I think you'll find, Mr. Chairman, there's probably more demand right now for the light manufacturing space. We're seeing that at least at the counter versus the retail. But it's it's flexible enough to give them that opportunity if they find a tenant they wanted that was more of a retail character. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and actually, Mr. Dallow, this 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 type of use is becoming very popular across the country, and and it's almost it's called a, almost like a, a flex property yep. that that it's you know somewhat office, somewhat somewhat industrial, and, and somewhat. Uh, and we see across the street where there's 
Dunkin' Donut in the middle of mm. something else. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, that site's zoned industrial as well. But we expanded the ordinance a number of years ago to widen the scope of what we allow in industrial. Um, and Mr. Casasanta has had this property for many years. He's done really well in this. He's done really very nice buildings in this area. So putting this building on the corner will just enhance that entire subdivision. It's very nicely done. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Turner, did you have a question? No. Oh, one no, 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 comment for Mr. Dallow is that if you want to see this building or this type of building that's been around for a long time at Avon and John R., the Allen Investments property there, mm -hmm. it's had quite a few oh, yeah. commercial uses in the front and then all storage in the back. It's, as far as I know, it's been full all the time. I'm very sure it's going to be full here also. It's just the area and the, sh the road that's in as Shaner, and, and it's more into that district of commercial. But that's very uh, nicely done. <clears throat> okay. Then are there questions? I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to approve the site plan application number 17-24 for Fernando Casante, Northwood Investments, LLC, Lot 22, West Star Industrial Project, <coughs> located on West Star Drive, north of 23 Mile Road, and west of Shaner, subject to the submission of a revised plan addressing all department comments. Support. By DeSico, support by Dalu. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none, Commissioner DeSico? Yes. Commissioner Dalu? Yes. Commissioner Casali? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner Rapone? Yes. Commissioner Wozniak? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Good luck. Very much. Thank you. Okay, next item is site plan number 17-25, Frank Martin, Dorshin Martin Associates for McDonald's. Good evening. I brought along a uh, few things that weren't in the packet. We can share one here. Thank you. We can share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My name is Frank Martin, uh, architect with Dorch and Martin Associates in Southfield, Michigan. <clears throat> and I'm here on behalf of uh, McDonald's. I was here about 11 years ago when this particular store was first put on that site uh, at uh, Van Dyke in 26. And at that time, it was a co-branded store, McDonald's and a, and a fueling station, as you probably remember. And um, now... Uh, the uh, program with McDonald's and the fueling station has uh, split up. The uh, fueling station has been uh, removed from the facility. The tanks are removed, canopies removed, and McDonald's is still operating. But McDonald's right now throughout the country is going through a uh, renovation program with renovating 85 to 90 percent of their stores by the year 2020. And they're essentially removing mansard roofs and a lot of the 50-year-old traditional things that we have uh, lived with over the years. And um, are renovating facilities and putting up new facilities that have the new design. And um, uh, this particular store is uh, going to be redesigned to just be a McDonald's. And it's about the size of a brand new store that's being built these days. Um, when we looked at the co-brand and it was uh, split up into two uses, uh, we now combine the uses, redoing the kitchen, redoing the exterior, redoing uh, all the restrooms. Everything's going to be ADA compliant. Uh, the site, we have some changes that uh, Glenn and I had talked about when I first contacted him. 
Um, the fact that the canopy is no longer there, we don't have a need for all that asphalt or concrete in front of the facility along Van Dyke. So we have, on the site plan you can see and on the landscape plan you can see that that is now going to landscaping, uh, which will be a nice addition to Van Dyke. Uh, the other side had ample room. Um, I think two years ago, maybe, uh, McDonald's came in for the renovation of the drive through and uh, that was constructed. constructed. Um, and this particular store, I think, will, will be quite a nice improvement on that corner. Uh, it'll be the new store design inside and outside. And uh, we are planning on finishing our construction drawings in the next month. And they will probably start construction after applying for a permit. Uh, construction will probably begin at the end of August. And it probably is a 45-day process. Uh, this particular one will be closed for some period of time while they redo the kitchen and then uh, and get those. The site doesn't have much to be done. They'll probably do that at that time and then possibly open up the drive-through with a temporary and then finish up the kitchen, uh, the dining room and everything else that goes with it. So if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. And before, some of the- Before I ask Mr. Wynn to comment, I, you know, I, I must, I got a comment that it's disappointing that, I mean, you were on the agenda some time ago. Oh. That the materials that you gave us, you know, would have been helpful to have prior to. Oh, uh-huh. And, you know, obviously you've been to this community before. Sure. So typically understand on how we, how we operate. Uh -huh. So, um, I mean, what you're requesting is, is fairly straightforward, but, but coming to, you know, at the last minute, giving something that you know we're supposed to review and and, and some might that was all in your packet. This the, the materials that you gave that us material here? was in your packet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's curious. I, I just brought that along just to have as a supplement. There were some additional pictures in there that could be helpful. I'm just saying that there there, there were there were materials that I, I didn't receive, and perhaps yeah. my my packet was insufficient. But that's all right. Uh, Mr. Wynn, did you uh, review this or? Yeah, we we had no problems. I've we've worked with Frank for many years, and I appreciate his willingness to make those landscape adjustments. That's going to make a huge difference on that site. I mean, the site was a clean, neat-looking site to begin with. Mm -hmm. I think this is just a huge enhancement. So I thanks again, Frank. For oh, you're welcome. To the board, any questions? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the modified site plan from the McDonald's restaurant at 56915 26 Mile Road, subject to the submission of a revised landscaping plan. Support. Moved by Turner, support by Apone. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none, Commissioner Turner? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Apone? Yes. Commissioner Wozniak? Yes. Commissioner Dalu? Yes. Commissioner DeSico? Yes. Commissioner Casale? Yes. And the chair votes yes. All right, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you all. If I could have your plans back tonight, <coughs> I can stamp and sign these tomorrow, so just leave them at the front when you're done. Thank you. Okay, next item is a, a public hearing on site plan number 17-18, special land use number six, uh, Rich Lawrence, Max Convenience Stores. I'll ask the acting secretary to read the, the notice as published. Yes, Charter of... Charter Township of Shelby Notice of Public Hearing. Notice is hereby given that the Planning Commission for the Charter Township of Shelby, Macomb County, Michigan, has received a request for approval of the following special land use. Applicant Rich Lawrence, Max, Max Convenience Stores, LLC, 935 East Talmadge Avenue, Akron, Ohio, 44310. The proposed use is a convenience store with gas station. The location is vacant land, northeast corner of Van Dyke and 22 Mile Road, site plan number 17-18, SLU-6. Uh, the legal description is as follows. Uh, the Planning Commission will meet on Monday, June 12, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the Shelby Municipal Building, 52700 Van Dyke, Shelby Township, Michigan, for the purpose of holding a public hearing on the special land use application. The application for special land use and the site plan may be examined at the Planning and Zoning Department in the Municipal Building Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5 p.m. Written comments may be submitted to the Planning Commission at the above address prior to the hearing. Oral comments will be heard during the public hearing. 
This notice is provided pursuant to the requirements of Michigan Public Act 110 of 2006 as amended. Shelby Township Planning Commission Jerome Moffitt Chair, Raquel Moore Secretary, published May 28, 2017. 84 property owners and three applicants were notified on May 26, 2017. Uh, Ms. Denowith, did the publication meet all legal requirements? Yes, it does. Okay, thank you. And could you explain uh, the uses under the present zoning and if this special land use request is appropriate to the district? Yes, Mr. Chair. This uh, zoning district is a C2, which is set forth <coughs> under uh, Zoning Ordinance Section 10.40. Specifically, this is a special land use pursuant to uh, Section 10.40B. Uh, so long as um, this the... Uh, General or underneath the general v review standards of section 13.01 and specifically as to gasoline stations 13.21. This is an appropriate use. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, uh, the, the board did receive two emails on this request uh, from a Julie Sch uh, Schmittler and a uh, Jeffrey Schmittler at 278722 Mile Road. Um, um, arguing that that uh, that this wasn't a good use for for that corner uh, the format for the public hearing will be as follows the petitioner or the representative will give uh, reasons for the request uh, the commissioners may then ask questions of the petitioner the floor will be then open up to the public uh, to ask any questions or offer uh, their opinions uh, and then finally allow the petitioner to to, to uh, respond to any questions um, at this point is the petitioner or representative here And if I could get your name and address, and then when you've concluded, to sign in, please. Okay. Otis Carter, 42649 uh, Capitol, Novi, Michigan. Uh, I am here in place of Rich Lawrence. He's not here today. Um, I am with Circle K. Um, I am the real estate manager for Michigan and Ohio region. Yeah. And what we are proposing is uh, a fuel convenience store uh, project with a building that's about 5,333 square feet, somewhere in that range, just under two acres. Um, we are moving into Michigan or trying to move into Michigan. Circle K has basically covered the south, east, southwest of the United States and some of the northeast. Haven't really done a lot in the Midwest other than Ohio. Uh, looking to expand into Michigan and northwest Ohio now. <clears throat> um, we think we have a, a great product. We think that the, the project would be great for the community. Uh, we're not building um, temporary looking, you know, lower scale type facilities. We are building facilities that are meant to be long term and to be in the community and to represent the community well. So um, with your approval, we would like to try to move forward with that. Okay. Uh, to the board, do the commissioners have a question of the petitioner? Oh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Turner. I have a question about the actual plan. Um, I know we all want to be our buildings to shine and be brilliant examples for our community, but <laughs> I'm wondering if, when you look at the plan, if this is going to be too bright, too well lit, because when you're looking at the light plan, you have six wall lights, seven floodlights, and 22 lights on the canopy. Uh, does that seem excessive, or is that pretty typical, and can we reduce that so it's not blinding you as you're driving down Van Dyke? Right. So most of the lights are directional LED lights, so they all shine down. They won't glare out anyway. Uh, most of them are directional. So. It, it's meant to be bright from a safety standpoint up under the canopies and right next to the building, but it, it should not glare out into the community or to the adjoining properties. I'm not a lighting expert, Mr. Wynn. I mean, what do you think? Two comments. I think maybe if you could maybe just revisit the number of lights, Mr. Carter, under the canopy. I think that's the most, the, the photometric plan shows that the most intensity is under the canopy. Right. And, <laughs> and Mr. Turner and I were talking today about it. There's two fixtures under the canopy. Notice one shows a drop fixture okay. and one is recess. So we certainly want the recess because the drop fixtures, the light becomes a little more visible. Right. So I think the specification should be the recessed only. And if, if, if they could revisit maybe a few less under there or give okay. us some indication, I think that's the concern. I mean, we want it to be safe, but it just seems like it's going to be too bright, too brilliant, too blinding. And it's only in that one little pocket right, right under there. So I think if we could maybe revisit that just modestly, I think that would help. Okay. Any other questions? Can we just do you after? We'll talk yeah. about it, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, is, these are all corporate-owned stations, <coughs> aren't they? Yes, sir. Are they 24-hour yes, business in there? Yes, sir. 
All right. You just build one in Van Dyke. That's south correct. Of in here. And, just north of 696. The building, I mean, the building, I it's a nice building. The canopy part of it is, I think, is too many pumps. Mm -hmm. uh, cheaper building on top is all aluminum. And these, the nature of the material is always fade, and it's not really what I would be looking to put in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my opinion. Uh, okay. Any other questions? Mr. Wozniak. For Mr. Wynn, um, would we usually take a project like this and leave a parcel uh, unidentified like they have here in parcel five? It, it's, it's ready. It, it, yes, we could, Liz. There's no mandate that they show any plans for that. If they want to use it, they'll have to come back, obviously. We've seen so many different versions of site plans for this site, Mr. Wozniak, and some of them utilized it and some of them didn't. What could that portion be used for? Another retail building, perhaps? You know, other versions we've seen here, we think one that showed a car wash, but, you know, that those those sites have kind of particular challenges with circulation. So. Have you had any conversations with the applicant with regard to no, use? No, not on this one. Applicant, do you have any ideas of what that other portion would be used for? Well, the, the intent that we had was just to have it as an excess retail piece, so whether it was, and I don't have any specific uses in mind, but you know, like a Jimmy John's or any type of retail, to your point, that didn't have circulation type concerns because a drive through or anything like that probably wouldn't fit on that property. So it would have to be some kind of standalone retail space. Um, for us, it just didn't make sense for us to add on to our particular piece of property. There's no nothing that we can really do with it. So rather than just have it sit there, we just broke it off just in case we could come up with another retail use that could go there. <laughs> Okay. Um, we didn't want to put a car wash. Uh, we think there's a, a significant amount of car washes already in the area, so we didn't want to add to that. Mr. Chairman, I think it's actually a little more, res their response is a little more restrained because some of the other versions of the plans I've seen for the site had all sorts of different uses that didn't really fit really well functionally. So, not from this applicant? No, not from him, no. But, you know, we've worked with some other applicants that or some other potential um, users, and it was just like too much on the site. So I'm glad they kind of scaled it back to something that fits. So. This is kind of rare we see this, which begs the question, I'm sure. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Dallow. Mr. One, how are we treating the fences around this property? There's some parts of this project in uh, office, and there is one project that is like resident next door. Are they building a, a wall in there between both of them, or? How is that handled? They don't need um, any sort of separation, Mr. Dallow, to the north where it abuts the, the office. They're, they're the same, basically the same zoning or similar, so there's no requirement for screening. And um, whatever they did in the landscaping plan would have satisfied the concern to the west where it's residential. So, so they're, they're... To the east? To the east, I'm sorry, to the east. The east of it. Okay. Any other okay. questions? Okay. Thank you for now. Thank you. The only public hearing the Planning Commission will hold on this special land use request. All remarks will be entered into the record for Township Board evaluation. We are a recommending body, and the Township Board will evaluate our recommendation, which is a <coughs> legislative body. The Township Board will make the final decision on this special land use request. At this time, anyone from the audience is welcome to come ask any questions, offer their opinion. Um, going once, going twice. Okay. <clears throat> Back, um, Mr. Wynn. Thank you. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time working on the site over the last couple of years, getting a part of it cleaned up. You know, the, the party store building has been removed, and there's been a lot of interest in the site. And I think Mr. Carter and I worked on talked about the site for about six months, at least, maybe more. Um, they've been very cooperative. Um, I, I, the site plan was very well done. We had two two specific comments we wanted to share. One is they need a parking variance. You may recall when we dealt with that site on Ryan and West Utica, the, these uses generate way more demand from the ordinance standpoint than they actually need. So actually, I think we calculated needed 54 spaces. That's ridiculous. They don't need that many. So they will have to take a trip to the Zoning Board of Appeals, and we would strongly support that. The only other site plan issue um, was the maneuvering aisles um, on either side of the pump islands to the north and to the south. Um, they're 37 feet wide. 
the standard driveway aisle width is only 24 feet wide. Now we know they probably need more room to maneuver as you get into a pump island, but if they could just reduce that, even say five feet on each side, down to maybe 30, 32 feet, that gives you a little <laughs> more landscaping space um, along 22 mile road. So you reduce a little pavement, add a little more green space. But otherwise, this site plan was exceptionally well done. It was exceptionally well uh, well handled by the Circle K company. It's the first time we've worked with them, and they've upgraded their elevations when we asked them to. Everything about this has been first rate. Okay. Thank Very you. Very good. Um, does the position have anything uh, wish to comment? Why don't you come on up and at least answer the question, you know, the, in terms of, of, of narrowing the, the width between the pumps to... Um, as far as I know, I, I don't think there should be an issue with that, other than if there's some issue with the truck radius and things right. like that. But other than that, I wouldn't see why. Right. We can work with them to see if we can just... I just, just a little bit helps. Okay. And there, there were no comments that, that you received from, from the no. township you had any issue with? Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is there a motion to close the public hearing? So move. Point. Been moved and supported. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, basis for our motion, or for yeah, our, our, our motion this evening, um, our recommendation this evening must be based on the following. Compatibility with adjacent land uses, consistent with and promote the intent and purpose of the special land use, compatibility with the natural environment, consistent with the capacities of public services and facilities affected by the proposed use, protect the public health, safety, and welfare, and the adequacy of public access to the site. We may recommend approval, we may disapprove, or uh, table uh, to uh, evaluate the information further. And at this time, well, is there any other questions, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, just a little uh, other question to Mr. One, or the applicant in that matter. Uh, and instead of having so many pumps and not meeting the parking, why don't we eliminate the, the pumps that they have compared to the other things that we approved in the town, the, the gas station by Kroger? They have less pumps than they, what they're putting here in this location, and that area is way busier than where this is going to be. And then you're dealing with 22, possibly that is going to expand sooner or later. So that is, I don't see a need to so many pumps right across by the neighborhood to that. So why don't we see if we could work that out where pumps would be changed for a parking so they could meet that issue. And this well, is, we gotta understand, this is the same property that came in for rezoning from C1 to C2, assuming to have a, a shopping center with a drive-through now it's not a shopping center with a drive-through, it's a 24-hour gas station. So that's where we're looking in the different, and we just approved that C1 to C2 not too long ago, so. Well, I mean, I think, you know, the parking issue is, is somewhat separate in that, and you know, Mr. Wynn and I talked about this earlier today, too. A lot of the folks that go into the convenience stores are actually parking at the pumps, and that, that's not calculated into that. And so, and I don't know that under, you know, really any circumstance that, the 50 some odd spots are, are really appropriate to, to that use. In terms of whether there are enough pumps or not, I mean, that's, I guess, somewhat of a, a business decision. To part yeah, of I'd Circle like to address K. that. I think from, you know, I don't think we should set an arbitrary number. That this is a number of pumps or that's a right number of pumps. It's all based on how a site functions. So my concern is, is the circulation, does the circulation work properly? Can they get access to the pumps conveniently? Um, and if they can, if they can get another pump in there, I think it actually makes the circulation better because it isn't so congested. So I think given the size of the site and how it's laid out, Mr. Dallow, I'm comfortable that the number of pumps is adequate because the site can support the number of pumps. So that's my view. Okay. Thank you. Um, so at, at having um, asked those questions, um, as a reminder, our, our function this evening is to, to make a recommendation to the Board of Trustees uh, to either approve this request, to disapprove the request, or to evaluate it further. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Turner. I move to recommend approval to the Township Board for Site Plan Number 17-18, SLU 6, 
for Rich Lawrence, Circle K, proposing a gas station with a convenience store based on the following. Introducing a gas station at this location is consistent with the predominantly retail development pattern evident at the intersection of 22 Mile Road and Van Dyke. Sufficient room is available on the site to accommodate this use and comply with all applicable zoning ordinance requirements. The addition of a gas station on this site is a complementary use to the convenience store. The gas station site is not located adjacent to any residential neighborhoods. The site plan provides convenient and safe access to Van Dyke and 22 Mile Road, and approval for the parking variance is required. And, and, and recommended by the board. And recommended by the Planning Commission. There you go. Thank you. Support. Okay, it's been moved and supported. Any questions on the motion? Just Hearing. a comment. At the board level, we might revisit the number of pumps, Mr. Dallow, if you're concerned about it. Thank you. Uh, if there are any, any other questions on the motion? Hearing none, Mr. Turner? Yes. Ms. DeSico? Yes. Mr. Dalu? No. Uh, Mrs. Casale? Yes. Mr. Pone? Yes. Mr. Wozniak? Yes. And Chair votes yes. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Okay, next item is site plan number 17 27. Uh, Joseph Heibel for Arby's. Hmm? Yeah, I know. Hi. I am Joseph Feibel. I'm an architect out of Grambus, Michigan. This is Eric Balance. He is a representative for the Arby's Restaurant Group. Um, and similar to the McDonald's that was here, the existing Arby's that's just a couple miles up the road here. So you want to take a little bit step forward. And sorry about that. We just move it up. Yeah. Okay. Is that better? That's good. Okay. Uh, they are just going for rebranding. The existing store is staying where it is. The um, building footprint is remaining the same. Um, they are just redoing the outside. They want to get rid of the old Mansard style roofs, the old, uh, you know, old metal roof that's, you know, 50 years old. Um, remodel the exterior, redo the parking lot so that's ADA meets ADA requirements, um, and anything else that would bring it up to current standards for the Arby's rollout. So yep. redoing the parking lot is part of the plan? Um, portion of it is part of the plan. Um, and that was discussed. We had discussions about that. And as Mr. Balance had a conversation, I believe, with, and it was told to him that it would be a separate issue. It would be handled separately, if I'm correct. I, I think I can. Yeah, Mr. Wynn. I, that wasn't part of it. When I did go out and look at the site, I did observe the parking lot's kind of crumbling in spots. There's some, it's not easy to drive through there. And I mean, it frankly, it would discourage me as a customer to go there. Um, so I, I don't want to discourage them from redoing the branding of the store, especially in South Van Dyke. We're getting some new development, and I think this is exceptional design, more modern. I really like it, and we're, we're, we're thankful that you guys came in with this. So we would strongly encourage them, though, to revisit that parking lot because I think it's in your best interest as the owner to do that. So I, I, what I would tell you is that, that we're aware of it, um, that we will be doing some patching for sure, right? Well, there's a storm drain that needs some work, and there's a couple areas that have kind of crumbled to your point. So those we will definitely be addressing. Um, it, if we can come up with the funds to do um, like an asphalt cap on there, that would be our preference. Um, but that's kind of uh, the second part of this at this point. Sure, I'm, I'm, I would accept that. Okay. Um, any other? No, no, no other comments necessary. From questions our, from uh, the board? Uh, just, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Wynn, this seems to be an excessive amount of drive it on the building. Even the part where it says brick, it's EFIS brick. I mean, uh, is that fake brick? I don't know. Well, I don't know what EFIS brick is. I've never heard of that before. I know there's brick and then there's EFIS, but I didn't think Brick there. pattern EFIS. I mean, okay. I don't know. Oh. Well, I mean, essentially, they put the EFIS up and then they score it. And then they paint the grout lines to look like brick, and then the brick face itself is painted to look like brick. So it's essentially drive it made to look like brick, as you were saying. It seems like it's a lot of drive it on the building. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, Mr. Dallow. Make a motion to approve the modified site plan for Arby's Restaurant 47540 Van Dyke 17-27 as submitted. Support. support. Moved by Dallas, support by DeSico. Uh, any questions on the motion? Hearing none, Commissioner Dallow? Yes. 
Commissioner DeSico? Yes. Commissioner Casale? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Wozniak? Yes. Commissioner Pone? Yes. Commissioner Turner? No. And the chair votes yes. Good luck. Thank you. I, I take these plans back too when you're done, so we can save them some more time. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, planning director's report. Chairman, um, two items. The first is um, we've labeled this as a site plan, but it's not your traditional plan. <coughs> I think most of you are familiar with that property at 4025 Auburn Road. It's the northeast corner of Auburn and Ryan. It's been vacant for a number of years. I think the last occupant was an archery range, indoor archery range. The site, you can see from the pictures, it's in a really bad shape. So this is one of our targeted blight sites. Um, Mr. Wood, the building department, had done a thorough analysis of the site, identified all the code violations, and shared those with the applicant. And then um, even our, um, through Ms. Denewis office, we recorded those violations against the property so people that bought it would know what they were buying. And somebody bought it with the full understanding they had to fix it up. And we've been working with them on it, and they came up with, they've hired Frank Salamone, local architect. You see the exterior design. And then the, uh, so that was fine. Um, the only problem is we had to figure out how we're going to park the site. Yeah. And that's still going to be a challenge. It's still going to be a challenge. <laughs> but so what we were concerned about is that the parking, the, the pavement on that site just bleeds right out into the road. So what you have is essentially somebody pulling in there and then backing out into Auburn or Ryan Road, which, you know, really wouldn't have been acceptable. So um, we asked um, Brad Strader, who is one of the master plan consultants, who's um, particularly expert at uh, traffic flow and parking design is to, to kind of come up with a few suggested alternatives. And then we sat down with the Department of Roads, I think for the engineers and said, would you accept something like this? Uh, because, you know, it kind of impinges a little bit on their right of way. And they answered, yes, they would. They gave us some comments and they came back. Uh, so Brad redesigned it. Uh, you know, it's not going to meet the number of parking spaces this building would require, but there's no other room. So we thought we thought this was a reasonable compromise to get this building reoccupied. And if you try to push the envelope too much on this site, it'll just stay like that forever. So we're, we're really pleased that um, we're getting some traction after about a year and a half. Uh, just wanted to share it with you and just kind of note it for the record that we're moving along in this direction. They've gotten busy. There's a dumpster out there now yeah. and they're peeling off and actually just even having the window open. Yep. You know, <laughs> and that's just a white, ugly, you know. Is yeah, the cool? guy's been, the, the new owner has been real cooperative. When he hires, you know, you hire a local architect who knows the ropes and, you know, the, the, we, but we felt we had to meet with the county. You know, we had to get them on board and they, they said they were fine. Just wanted to share that with the commission. Okay. Anything else? Uh, just the an annual or the monthly administrative report for signs and temporary uses, kind of a standard for the month. And what? Oh, there's a letter here from about Camelot Court, which is a single family, six lot single family development on um, on South Side 24 Mile Road, west of Hayes, and uh, they um, started the approval process, never finished it, but the roads in. So we told, and the utility. So I had told Mr. Casasanta, who is here tonight, that you know you need to finish this process. And then another resident in that development was asking some questions about why am I have to maintain something that wasn't mine. So it was just to respond to those. So that's kind of a reflection of what we deal with on a daily basis. All these sort of. So I missed the opportunity to beat him up here earlier. Yeah, he's. He, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. He'll come back, and we'll we'll beat him up on when it's the right time. Get him next time. And um, that's that's it. That's it. Mr. Dallow, one more. You waiting for a motion to adjourn? Let's do it. Anytime you're ready. Motion to adjourn. To support? All in favor? All right. Aye. We're adjourned. Okay. We'll look at those.